Hi, I'm Ann Poole. Welcome to adding events to your calendar. This is the third in my series of videos that will show you one way that a small library with limited resources can help make ebooks available to its community. In part one, we created a Google Calendar, and in part two, we took a little detour to learn one way to find ebook promotions. Now we're going to learn how to add the dates of an ebook promotion to our calendar. Here's a book promotion I found on BookBub that I want to put on my calendar. You can see that the book is free through July 31st. I also clicked on the four buttons to double check that the retailers actually were offering it for free. Here's my calendar on Google Calendar. If you need to review how to find Google Calendar or how to set up a new calendar, you can go back to the part one video. To create a new event on your calendar, first find it in the My Calendar section on the left side of the page and click the little triangle to the right of it. Then when the pop-up window appears, click on Create Event on this calendar. Here's the page you'll go to next. The things you'll want to do on this page are, first add a title. I like to use free or the price, the title, and the author. Change the start and end dates as needed. If I'm adding an event for a promotion that's already running, I'll leave the start date at today. Check the All Day box. Add a description. I like to list the retailers that are honoring the promotion. You could also add a link to the web page for the book at each retailer if you wanted to make it even easier for people to find the promotion. You could also add your own comments about the book. Uncheck Invite Others and See Guest List at the right as a small privacy enhancement. You could also experiment with changing the event color and make a color coding scheme for different book genres or for free versus discounted books. Then when you're all done, click the Save button at the top. That's it. Here's what the promotion will look like on your calendar. Feel free to play around with the different buttons at the top. You may prefer looking at a calendar for a month at a time to see the promotions on a list in the agenda view or some other option. In the next video, we're going to add this calendar to your library website, but there's another option for any tech-savvy people in your community who might be interested. They can add your calendar to Google Calendar, Outlook, or whatever they use. Then they can see the ebook promotions you've publicized without having to go to the library website. On the left side of the Google Calendar page, click the little triangle to the right of your calendar. Then in the pop-up window that appears, click on Calendar Settings. On the page that appears, click the green iCal button in the Calendar Address section. Make sure it's that section and not the Private Address section. Then a pop-up window will appear with a long URL. That's the web address of your calendar file. You can copy that address and email it to anyone who wants to subscribe to your calendar. As promised, though, I'll show you how to add the whole calendar to your library website so people who don't understand how to work with online calendars can still see ebooks they can get for free. You'll learn that in Part 4, Adding a Calendar to Your Website. 